Hello, everybody. I'm Jeannie Blaylock at First Coast News, and we are talking Tony Baselli from behind the scenes. Baselli elected to the NFL Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio. He is the first Jacksonville Jaguar ever to get into that prestigious group. Baselli, as you remember, the first draft pick for the Jacksonville Jaguars in franchise history. That was back in 1995. But the process of getting into the Hall of Fame, his family calls it torture. That's the word they use. Five years he was a finalist, but he didn't get in. So tonight, let me take you behind the scenes. I got to talk with his wife, Angie, and their five kids, two sons and three daughters. Now, I knew the Hall of Fame is a big, big deal, but oh, man, oh man, listen to this. The wait, goodness gracious. It's been five times. Well, and the process is just torture. Either wait for a phone call saying you didn't make it or a knock on the door saying you did make it. And that bad call for five years now. And when he got that phone call, it definitely was a little bit heartbreaking. We were all devastated, but my mom mostly and Mr. Brunell, there was a lot of tears. Jags quarterback, Mark Brunell. Watching grown men cry on behalf of your husband, that is horrible. And Tony's entire family there every time. You fly your whole family out to wherever the Super Bowl is. Everybody gets dressed for a black tie, red carpet event. Um, you sit around and you wait. But this year, this year, finally, the knock. But hang on now, you gotta hear this from behind the scenes first. Tony was kept in the dark. He didn't even know he got in. It was me. My, my mother and then my grandparents. The Hall of Fame folks let his family plan a big surprise. First, mom calls her girls and at the University of like, Florida on she campus. Tells us. She's like, uh, I have some news. And, and I thought it was something bad at first. The girls book flights to California to the Super Bowl for the announcement. And meanwhile, we staged a fake business meeting at my dad's uh, kind of co-worker's house. Tony has no clue. We were all hiding in the garage. And so now, let's watch that moment, the scene in California. I'm excited to see his reaction. Anthony Munoz, Hall of Famer, Tony's hero, both offensive linemen. <laughs> You know how I feel about your game, man, right? Yeah. I've told you year after year, welcome to camp. <laughs> There's no one else I'd rather hear this news from oh, him, man. No one else. Thank you. I was so happy. You could just see in his face, he was not expecting it. And I was just like bawling, crying, tears of joy, obviously. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I wanted to go out as the best of the best. <laughs> And now it's months later and you can still can see, see the emotion. Eye. Am I seeing tears in your eyes? <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's that big of a Deal. It it's is. just huge. It is. And Angie says it's much more than a Tony Baselli honor. This isn't for us. It's like for all of us. It is for Duval. The very first Jacksonville Jaguar to get in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. That is just so cool, isn't it? It would be hard to go over all the impressive stats about Tony Baselli, but for sure, he's especially famous for being, 27 years ago, the Jaguars' very first draft pick. And as a rookie, he allowed only one sack. As a team leader, he pushed the Jaguars to the AFC Championship in just their second season. And he was voted into five straight Pro Bowls. But did you know? Tony Maselli isn't really his official name, and his youngest daughter loves to tell that story. So tonight, from behind the scenes, I had such fun talking with his wife, Angie, and their five kids. Let's start with Ashley, who's 20, and Alexis, who is 19, talking about a number super important to them. It was Alexis Bow, 71. Ashley Bow, 71. I mean, 71, it just, it's... It's our family number. Yeah. Tony Baselli, that famous number 71. His daughters say they are so focused on their dad's jersey number, it seems to just kind of pop up everywhere they go. We're like, the gas get like a table number. That's like a 71. But when it comes to his name, everyone's 
thinks his name is Tony Baselli, and his name actually isn't really anything close. Angeli says. Don Bosco Anthony Baselli Jr. The girls tell me their dad didn't yeah, even know about his middle name for about 40 years until he had to get a passport. He was so surprised he called his mom. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> You um, have another middle name. Ansley, uh, age 13, is the youngest Baselli child, and that brings up another story. Tony, well known for his deep faith. Every night, uh, for sure, he would pray over us. And when Angie was pregnant with Ansley, his daughter saw said, something she will minute. never forget. Her parents, not knowing she was even awake, watching. My mom was sitting on the dining room chair, and my dad had his hands on my mom's stomach and was like praying over Ansley. A and sweet moment. If there's anything my dad taught me, it's integrity and to love big. Or, as Brother Andrew says it. As a dad, he's just such a great dude. Loved at home and praised on the field. Jacksonville Jaguar Tony Baselli, number 71. So terrific to see Basilla get into the Hall of Fame after five years of being a finalist and not getting invited into that very elite club. The Jacksonville Jaguars played their first football game back in 1995, and now for the first time, we have a Jaguar elected into the Hall of Fame. Now, we know Tony Baselli is a big star, but I was curious about what he is like behind the scenes. His five kids have some great stories. Bozzelli. <laughs> we start with the Italian roots. Uh, this is a picture of us in front of the Coliseum. <laughs> a trip to Italy. You know, my dad is 6'7", he's huge. I'm behind the scenes with Ashley and Alexis and Ansley, Tony's three daughters. Everywhere we sat down, yeah. he was like, it's my people, it's my people. people. Even though he towered over the Italians he met, fun times together, and talk about a big oh family God. here. Don't you think you guys all sort of look alike? Oh, there's no question. And they love to tease each other. Oh, like that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Seems dad can play football, yeah, but sing, <laughs> no. It's really it's sad. Really, it's what really you sound like? Uh, Monotone, uh, like a dead rat. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but having Tony Baselli as your own personal coach, wow. He first started coaching me when I was like eight years old in baseball. Adam and Andrew both learned discipline from dad. High school, 6 a.m. You got to hit the gym before school. You just rip the blankets off, turn the lights on, and say, we're going. <laughs> there was just no, there wasn't an option. And when the girls were cheerleaders. And he always was there. Flying overnights between Jaguar football games and their competitions. This is one of our pictures from our, one of our big cheer competitions. The sisters both won. Very few times I've seen my dad cry. Welcome to camp. And now to see their dad get into the Hall of Fame. How proud are you of your dad? I mean, I couldn't be more proud. Dad, congratulations. I just, I always knew that you were a Hall of Famer and I'm just so happy and just honestly proud that like the rest of the world has kind of always seen what I've always seen. I never got to see you play, but you've always been a Hall of Famer to me. <laughs> Wow, not sure anything can beat that. But at the big ceremony Saturday in Canton, Tony, your fans will be cheering for your monumental honor. Now, I want to show you one more thing about Tony's kids. After the interviews, it started raining, I mean like crazy. And Tony's son right there, Andrew, said, hey, I'll go get your car. He gets soaked. Did he ever grumble for one second? Did he frown? Nope, he just kept smiling. What a gentleman. I was really impressed with that. It's nice to see how proud the Baselli kids are talking about their dad. So now let's find out about Tony Baselli and a big box that came in the mail. Actually, this next story from behind the scenes is really about two boxes, a small one and that big one. Let's start with Tony's son, Andrew, played football himself at FSU. And the big box? I took a video of him opening it. Oh, you do have yeah. it? Can you share it with yeah. us? Is that little? Okay. Tony got the box from the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Got a little package from Canton, Ohio. So we'll got to figure he knows what's been mailed to him. Jacket. And there it is. <laughs> oh. Pretty cool. The famous gold jacket of the Pro Football Hall of Fame in advance to, to make sure it fits. Sure. You're a football guy, so yep. what was so good about your dad? Uh, I think what really, really separated him was his mentality. He was just, he 
was relentless. He would not give up an inch. A guy could be quicker, then he would just go stronger. A guy could be stronger, then he would go quicker. Now to the small box. When you first saw him, what was he in his football him? uniform? No, in a toga. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Angie, a cheerleader at the University of Southern California, and Tony, first team All-American at USC. They met at a Greek party. He was not shy. No, 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 <laughs> no, not at all. Seems Angie was dating somebody else. You need to break up with your boyfriend. What are you doing with that guy? <laughs> we should go out, we should go out. And finally, they did. And then eventually, one night, they had this fancy dinner all planned out. Angie dressed up, but Tony. When I showed up, he was playing Xbox with a bunch of guys in like sweats. But it was all a trick. I, I had no idea. To walk the beach and propose to her. And all of a sudden, he whipped the box out, and I was like, oh, this is it. Oh my gosh. And he didn't even open the box. He didn't. I was like, yes, yes. And now, after 27 years of marriage. I just love him so, so, so much. And back now to that big box with the gold jacket. What a joy, what a ride, what a thrill. Angie says, yeah, of course, they are excited, but they're grateful that everybody around the First Coast can join in and celebrate. Jacksonville is going to Canton. 904 Duval, this isn't for us, it's like for all of us. Uh, so Angie Maselli is saying the Hall of Fame selection of her husband, Tony Maselli, finally getting that gold jacket is a reason for all of us on the First Coast to celebrate and be proud. Our sports director, Chris Porter, won't forget this year's Hall of Fame, his trip to Canton, his stories about Maselli, and also Leroy Butler from Jacksonville. You can watch all of that on our First Coast News app or our website, firstcoastnews.com. And Tony, congratulations on your spot in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. You have a huge fan club. Jeannie Blaylock, First Coast News, on your side.